and let's do some problems together because you haven't heard my voice enough today. So we're going to express tan R as a ratio, then express tan S as a ratio. So you've got two to do. All right, so let's get this going. So first, and they're gonna have to switch. So first we will start with R. According to R in purple, the opposite is three, the adjacent is eight. So, the tan of R is three over eight. Now, let's talk about S. If I can get, find a pen that works, we'll do it. Come on, there we go. Here's S in blue, ooh, it's pretty. So across from S, opposite to S in blue is eight, it reverses. And three is the adjacent. So the tangent of S is eight over three. Do you see this relationship here? They're inverses of each other, they flip. So whatever the tangent of R is, the opposite is the tangent of S. And you can use either to get the angle measures. All right, so let's look at this one. Let's look at the tan of R. According to R, the opposite is 13, the adjacent is 19. So the tan of R is 13 over 19. Let's look at the tan of S in blue. Opposite is 19, adjacent is 13. So the tan of S is 19 over 13. And let's look at the tan of R. The tan of R is the opposite 15 over the adjacent eight. So what would the tan of S be? It would be the inverse of it or the reverse of it. It would be S, according to S, the opposite is eight and the adjacent is 15. Very good. So now let's use the table or use your calculator, whatever you're most comfortable with, okay? To find the tan of 24, so type it in and find it. What is the tan of 24? <sighs> so I got 0. 0.4452. Practice typing in your calculator. This is the only way you're going to understand it. 0.8693, helps if I put my glasses on. And then of 88 is, whoa, 28.64. I want it to four decimal places. Now, do you remember how to find the angle measure? I do the negative one tan, the inverse of tan. 2.4751 is 68 degrees. And the inverse tan of 3.057 is 72 degrees. And the inverse tan of 0 0.8089 is 39 degrees. Great. Two ways of finding the value of x are st started below. So if I use the tan of 40, it would be opposite over adjacent x. So it would be 27 over x, cross multiply. I could put this over one and cross multiply. x times 40 is 27 over x. They changed it to this, I don't know why. And then using tan of 50, 50 would go the other way. My opposite would be x, my adjacent would be 27. So the tan of 50 would be x over 27. They changed this, they didn't cross multiply, they didn't solve for x. So which of the following statements are correct? Well, if I did this one over one, it would be X times 0.8391 equals 27 times one. So you would have to type in your calculator, X equals 27 over 0.8391. And over here, if you cross multiplied, it would be X equals 27 times 1.198. So which one is correct? Does, does X equal 27 times 0 0.391? No. Does 
does it equal 27 times 0.1? Yep, easy choice. How about 27 divided by? Yep. How about 27 divided by 1 point? Nope. So B and C are your answers. Let's find the tangent of A, B, and angle A and angle B. All right, so let's find the tangent of A. Opposite is 2, adjacent is 7. So the tan of A is 2 over 7. So let's find angle A is approximately. Go to your calculator. Inverse tan. Because I'm looking for the angle of 2 divided by 7. Don't forget to close your parentheses. Is 16 degrees. It's approximately. It's 15 point something. All right, let's look at B. B is, so the tan of B is the opposite, 7 over 2. So what is, oh, remember you can put the inverse if you want. That helps you. So you go to the inverse tan, 7 divided by 2, and you get 74 degrees. Now, let's talk about A and B. A and B are complementary. They are the acute angles of a right triangle. So they should add to make how much? 90. And 74 and 16 make 90. Whew. <laughs> Let's look at B. So I want the tan of B. The tan of B is the op What? I don't have the opposite. Uh, so I need to solve for it. So I'm going to make it Y and we're going to use, or you can make it X, whatever you want. Use the Pythagorean theorem. So Y squared plus 8 squared equals 17 squared. Y squared is 225, we know Y is 15. If you know your triplets, 8, 15, 17. So this is 15 over eight. So find it by using your inverse tan of 15 divided by eight. Make sure you close your parentheses, you get 62 degrees for B. Now, let's try A. The inverse tan of A is the other way around, eight over 15. So check yourself, inverse tan, eight divided by 15, close your parentheses, is 28 degrees. Are these, no, that's why. Are these two complementary? They are, and they should be. Find the value of x to the nearest 10th. Show the equation. So if I look at 24 degrees, my opposite is x, my adjacent is 20. So I would set up my equation, tan of 24 equals x over 20. That's your equation you're gonna get credit for. You don't have to show me when you cross multiply that it's 20 times tan of 24, okay? But you do have to show me what it equals. Oh, so if you look, you will see that 20 times the tan of 24 is 8.9. So X is approximately 8.9, and that is to the nearest tenth. Okay, I hope you understand what we were doing. Trig is a little tricky. That's why I'm giving you two days to do all this. So complete the problem. The hardest thing is learning the calculator and understanding where it comes from. So I will see you with any of your questions. Miss you already. Bye.